Hi friends, welcome to RLC. We are working on a video series of digital signal processing. As a part of this series, let's begin the first session with basics of signals, systems and signal processing. Myself, Ramachandra C. from RLC presenting you this topic. Let's begin today's session. Signals. A signal is defined as a function of one or more variables which conveys information on the nature of a physical phenomenon. A signal can also be defined as a set of data which is a function of time or any variable of interest. Basically there are two types of signals. One is continuous time signal. The other one is discrete time signal. What is continuous time signal? A continuous time signal is defined at all instants of time. That is, x of t, the value of signal x of t exists for all values of t. Whereas, a discrete time signal is defined as only at particular instants of time. That is, the value of signal x of n exists only at particular instants of time. The time indication here in the figure are n is equal to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. For example, say if x of 3, what is the value of signal? x of n at x uh, time is equal to 3. At n is equal to 3, the value of signal is 1. So, only at particular instants of time, a discrete time signal will be defined. Whereas, a continuous time signal is defined at all instants of time. Examples of signals include the atmospheric temperature, which gives information about the surrounding heat levels, humidity signals which gives information about the surrounding moisture content, human voice or speech signals which carry some kind of information, images and chirping of birds etc. All these are examples of signals. Then, images or pictures are signals that depend on two independent variables that is Say so if there is a signal S of x comma y which is equal to 3x square plus 2xy plus y square. The signal S is a function of two independent variables which is the function of x comma y. For an image or a picture signal x comma y are spatial coordinates in a plane that is horizontal and vertical positions. So image or pictures are examples for two dimensional signals. Next, speed signals. Speed signals are a function of time which has many sinusoids with varying amplitude, frequency and different phases respectively. ECG, electrocardiogram these signals gives information about the patient's heart. EEG, electroencephalogram, these signals gives information about the various activities of the brain. Different neurological conditions of the brain can be obtained by EEG signals. So, speech signals, ECG signals and EEG signals are function of one independent variable that is time. So, speech signals, ECG signals and EEG signals are classified as one-dimensional signals. We have come across the definition of a signal. It is one which carries information. Now, to operate on a signal, a system is required. So, what is a system? A system is a collection of devices that operate on input signal Input signal is also called excitation and produces an output signal also called as response of the system. 
A system can also be defined as a physical device which performs an operation on a signal. Uh, X of t is the input signal and Y of t is the response of the system. There are many systems available. Some of the systems are electrical system, current and voltage acts as signals for electrical system, mechanical system, temperature and force velocities acts as signals. For an hydraulic system, displacement pressure acts as signals which carries information. Next, what are the different operations that are performed on by a system? Some of the operations that are performed by a system are filtering. A filter is a system which performs filtering operation to reduce noise and interference on the information carrying signal. Some of the other operations are convolution, amplitude scaling, time shifting, frequency multiplication, etc. These are some of the operations that are performed by a system on a signal which carries information. Signal processing. A system performs many operations such as filtering, convolution, time shifting, time scaling on the signals. So, what is signal processing? The operations performed on a signal to change its characteristics and to extract some desired information is called as signal processing. There are two main types of signal processing. One is analog signal processing and the other one is digital signal processing. Analog signal processing versus digital signal processing. Block diagram of analog signal processing. Analog systems are hardwired machines which consists of an analog signal processor. The excitation is an analog input signal and the response is an analog output signal. The signal processor performs operations to change the characteristic of the signal and to extract the necessary information from the signal such as filtering operations, frequency analyzer, frequency multiplication operations are done by the system. Block diagram of digital signal processing. The block diagram of DSP consists of an ADC that is analog to digital converter, a digital signal processor and a digital to analog converter. Here between analog input signal and digital signal processor there is an interface the interface is called as analog to digital converter which converts analog input signals to digital input signals these digital input signals are processed by the digital signal processor digital signal processor is a pre-programmed machine which consists of a small microprocessor with the different softwares programmed in it and based on the algorithms in the software, the signal processor performs different mathematical operations and gives the digital output signal. The digital output signal further can be used for storage or can be processed. For applications such as speech communications, the digital output signal must be converted to an analog form. Therefore, there is an interface between the digital output signal and the analog output that is digital to analog converter. The digital output from the digital signal processor is converted into an analog output signal by using a digital to analog converter. Next, let's have a comparison between analog signal processing versus digital signal processing. First, flexibility. Digital signal systems can be easily reconfigured and are flexible in nature. It allows the system to perform operations by changing the program software. Whereas reconfiguration in an analog system requires the redesign of the hardware. And testing and verification is also necessary. So digital systems are more flexible when compared to analog systems. Second, accuracy. 
since analog systems are hardwired machines there are the tolerance in the analog circuit components make the system less accurate tolerance is the uh, amount of errors certain amount of errors that are obtained due to the system components in analog system whereas dsp works on digital signals which are discrete sequences with finite length and infinite lengths both are possible so digital systems are more accurate when compared to analog systems third storage digital signals are easily storable in magnetic media tape or disks without any loss of information and they can also be easily transported whereas analog signals are cannot be stored as they require loss of data because they are hardwired machines the signals can't be stored very easily fourth operations since dsp consist digital signal processor consists sophisticated uh, algorithms different processing algorithms which can perform different operations just by changing the software whereas analog systems the uh, operations are difficult to perform the mathematical operations are difficult to perform on analog systems analog signals fifth speed the processing speed of the digital systems are high because of the uh, high speed algorithms whereas in case of analog systems the speed is uh, low so overall for the processing digital signals are more accurate so all analog signals in nature are converted to digital signals before processing such as ecg eeg ecg eeg signals are analog in nature these signals are first converted to digital discrete sequences before processing hi guys if you have enjoyed the learning please like and subscribe to our channel and share to your all friends and well wishers for regular updates connect us on social media thank you all for watching the video in the next video session let's learn about the frequency domain sampling the discrete fourier transform